Okay. Hello, everyone who is going to be watching this at a future date. I'll add people as we go. Welcome to the meeting. I'm going to move this around. We're at AUT gym today. I'm going to prop up the camera as well because everything's a bit, everyone's just heads. I'm going to give the microphone to Erin, who is going to talk to us about Instagram reels. So I've got the world's longest call. That's so good. Okay. Um, okay, where to start? I guess um, I was asked the other day to if I could present on something that might be of interest to the group. And I know that there's lots of the world of social media is changing every five seconds, and we all know that. And one of the hardest things that of late that I've recognized from attending things like the roadshow and different webinars. Um, that I've been listening to through active management and through Rex roundtables is that it's just getting harder and harder to have your information seen at all. Even yeah. by your loyal followers, they'll miss yeah. things. Yeah. Facebook seems to be worse than ever. Um, Instagram, not quite so bad. But one thing I've noticed is um, it was prompted I guess, or no, more noticeable to me through a change that happened in our facility recently was we lost our marketing, marketing and promotions coordinator, who was like a dedicated role, but they, they resigned. Right. But, so somebody had to pick up the tasks in the interim period while we were recruiting, and that happened to be me. Um, <laughs> so I had to learn things pretty quickly. Um, and just from looking at the insights on our pages and the information through the Facebook business suite, looking through the insights that are in Instagram and seeing how much reach and how much connection and impact is any of what we're doing even making. Mm -hmm. And then trying, just trying things out and seeing what seems to get more traction. And for example, I put up a post which was such a nothing post about the fact that our facilities were going cashless. Right, yeah. Not, not, nothing to be excited about. I would had done it as a video post with someone playing with Monopoly money and just throwing it in the air type thing. Yeah. Now that post got something like 2,000 views within a few days compared to like beautiful photo board type posts that might get like five or six type people pressing the like button you don't even get any comments and yet we've got like four thousand followers on our page yeah so the impact that video makes is quite significant um and then we've had this other stuff in the background like tiktok which i know a lot of people have been really hesitant to get involved with tiktok because it just seems like complicated and hard but also, it's just another platform. Do I really have to use this? Because the kids are on it. And what's really interesting is we started having some conversations here on campus with the kids, right, who are using it. <laughs> and they all say, oh, no, we don't like TikTok because there's too many old people on it. So we use <laughs> reels. <laughs> yeah. So we like using reels on Instagram. It's way better. And then that way, if you think about it, it's smarter because it's targeting the exact same audience that you've already built up and yet you've got the ability to draw more people to your existing account. So I did an experiment the other day. I'm all about experimenting. Um, at lunchtime, I recorded a funny reel with our team about how not to use booty bands. I saw that. It was very good. <laughs> and then the idea was to follow it up on how to actually use them and put a program together. Within four hours, it had four and a half thousand views. Wow. And I've never seen reach like that yeah. on our um, page before. Even with giving away free stuff, it does never get to that bit of reach. Mm -hmm. So I guess it just highlights on the fact that um, any moving content, things with music, um, having a bit of humour and just having a bit of a play, it's worth being brave about. 
So I thought what could be a really cool idea, and I thought this would be a neat challenge for the PP Council, would be someone, because you can do these things which are called remixes. It is the equivalent in TikTok language of doing a duet. So it means that someone has created a video, and then when you choose to remix it, which is the Instagram name, you're taking their video, and it will be side by side next to your creation, so they will play at the same time when you publish it. Yeah. So you can you could do something like a song or um, anything a like a conversation um, that you recorded voice recording on it. Um, make something really easy, or even like passing a ball or passing a a, a dumbbell or something from one trainer to another and see how far you can make the loop go within the PT Council or up and down New Zealand and see if you could pass it from the Auckland hub and see if some Wellington Wellingtonians could catch it or the yeah. um I yeah that. I don't know I just thought it could be worth That's doing nice. and even if it was something as silly as a karaoke song that you're just doing a you're just mouthing the words to and then you pass it and you do lots of hashtags to things like fitness business just and just karaoke we have fun like it's got nothing to do with fitness whatsoever it's yeah. just showing that we're a collaborative group we like to have fun and that you're, you're out there it's just putting you out there you'll get seen by all sorts of different people who never even thought to look at you but i thought that could be a really cool thing to try and do i know that there was some of um some of these types of things where items get passed from yeah. one to another yeah. is a really popular one and then you think you know and that's the great thing about the reels is that you can be really cheeky with a lot of things you could pass a pelvis and you could have someone literally holding onto somebody's pelvis and just move them across the thing like <laughs> yeah. whatever you know there yeah. could be some really silly things that happen and you never know who's going to pick up your remix because anyone can pick it up mm. so that's the fun thing if you happen to not want people to remix your um, reels, you can set a setting on it that says don't allow remix of this. So um, that's quite a fun thing to do. But. Yeah, we did it with a towel where you throw a towel to the next member of the team and they catch it. It's not the same towel. Yeah. And then they do something and then throw it yeah. to the other side. Yeah. 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 You can do anything, any item. It doesn't have to be anything of any relevance to anything. So I thought that could be a really fun way, and I'm, I'm trying to think of something that's a really easy way for people to introduce themselves mm -hmm. into doing it. Um, so if you're wanting to do one where it's like throwing from one to another, all you need to do is get one person responsible for taking little videos. So you might set up like on Facebook Messenger, everyone pre-record yourself accepting a towel yeah. and throwing it in some direction. Yeah. And then they send all your videos in, and then you um, just put them together in your Instagram reel. It's really easy because you're just taking them from your photo, from your yeah, album, your yeah. recent albums. Yeah. I suppose if they wanted to say who they were, they could, it could be a piece of paper that they collect and it's got their name and. Yeah, uh, yeah but also so in the reel, you can yeah. type at, oh, okay. at Nikki Williams or at, you know, you and can tag, do, every, tag every, every single person who's involved in it. And they could have their thing so that you know which one is which person. Hi, I'm Nikki. And, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's cool because then you'd link the hub yeah. as well yeah. as the person. Yeah, so mm. that could be quite a cute one to do. It won't take very long. Find a fun song like, I don't know, Sister Sledge, We're Family or something that links it because we are. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have to have any purpose as such except to just create some fun and some mm. a feeling of collaboration. Yes. Like a creator account and a personal account. Yeah. So um, a creator account and a personal account, you have access to basically all the yeah. all the music that like yeah. exists on Spotify, what and what yeah. have you. Um, if you have a business account, though, they do restrict your ability to mm -hmm. use general music. So I would say that the person who's creating the reel, as long as they have got the right kind of account, they don't have a business account, mm -hmm. then they can create it. So it's lots of fun. And it will just sit in your profile under the reels. So yeah. um, like I'll show you as an example in 
our one that we did in the city. Um, so I can show you guys and then I'll show the camera. So you'll, you have your, your grid. Then you have your reels, then you have Instagram TV, and then you have your tap. So that's your reels there, and you can see how many views right. that you have. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, we'll those at home, <laughs> 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 the page, and then on the back page, because my glasses are going to be distracted. Right, so you've got your grid view, so you've got your reels here, and then you've got your Instagram TV, and then you've got any page that you've been tagged in for content. Yeah, so I thought that was quite a little, um, a cute way to do that. Um, some tips that I would probably, um, if you're trying to make your reels, like make quite good impact too, is try and think about things like musical timing and that where you might cut a portion yeah. of the video changing, it might be like on beat or on phrase, especially if it's a song that has some sort of an impact. Um, or if you're doing things like, some people you see doing things like they do baking ingredients and they tap it with the whisk and they tap it with the thing. And all you're doing is you're yeah. just cutting the video at that point. Yeah. And then you're just taking another video. It's really, really, really easy. Um, but match it with the song so that it has more impact every time you're doing those, mm -hmm. those moments of change. Yeah. If you can. Um, Humour is always really good. You can add captions too if you want to, so that if you need people who are hearing impaired, um, then you can add those captions to it as well. Yeah, so there's like, it's just a really cool avenue. And I think personally, that was much more enticing than having to set up a TikTok account and then creating yeah. a whole nother audience, which just seemed ridiculous in the world of social media. I think mm. we all spend way too much time as it is digitally anyway mm -hmm. and it's just nice to know that you can do something on an account that already exists and reaches your people so the great thing about it is that when you create your reels it is far more likely to be seen by your members than any other content that you create and you can share it to your stories so it can get seen again and really cool you could then add it to your highlights if you want to have highlight reels Yeah, way more. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's an interesting thing to hear is the like the young kids who kind of like started out on TikTok going, nah, we don't want anything anymore because too many old people <laughs> <Yeah>. on it. <laughs> Which I get what they're saying. Um, and I guess because Reels is really new still, it's exactly like TikTok. It's like literally no different. But it just needs one less account to even worry about which I'm really pumped about because yeah. I don't have time to take TikTok. Um, if you're on um, accounts like Later and things as well, which is a scheduling mm -hmm. um, site for Instagram, then you can save all of them to that as well. So you can save it to your camera roll and yeah, schedule it for later yeah. if you needed to. Yeah, so it's really exciting. I don't know if there's any like other questions about using them or experiences that we had. Like we found it so easy. Like we literally made that reel that took about 10 minutes of my time. Do you make all the reels get like on your phone and then edit it and then upload it or do you record it straight down the phone? Um it's so reels is done in Instagram. Yeah. Um I did do a mixture of some nice photos that I had taken yeah. and some videos that I was just videoing on the spot mm. so you can grab things that are in your existing albums and you can grab content in front of you yeah. and you can mix it all together and then you can switch them around into any order that you like as you're editing it okay. so it's really easy if you create like you record a video and then you put that in and you edit that video yep and... yep so you can cut it to what you want you can cut the front and cut the back or you could put it in twice and chop different sections of it if you mm -hmm. needed to. For a photo, you can say how long you want it to play for. So if you don't own it, if it's just a still photo and you don't want it to go for like four seconds because that's how much of the song you want it to match to, then you just change that to mm -hmm. four seconds. You can write over it. You can mm -hmm. do all sorts of things. 
So it's quite a cool little fun thing to play with. It is. Yeah, and people are telling you to use it more. Like if yeah. you talk to a marketing expert or a social media coach, they'll mm. say use reels, but I'm not going to use it because I think it's going to be quite and it's just simply that it just gets pushed to the because you're creating it and you're making visually appealing moving content the instagram people love that they they want that to be seen more so anything that's moving content gets seen first Mm. and that will get seen faster than video and i guess if you think about it they've just invested all this money and time into creating this new tech they want to reward those who are actually investing time to use the tech that they've just put in. Yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I think like the easy thing is don't um because they don't they don't last very long anyway. They're all going to be less than a minute. Yeah. Um, you don't have to reinvent the wheel with that's the great thing is you don't actually have to reinvent the, the wheel with any of it you can just repeat rinse and repeat somebody yeah, else's one yeah. that you've seen that you were like oh my god that's so funny why didn't i think of that it's like yeah. well just copy it it doesn't even matter and people don't even care that you've copied them yeah. or just remix them because there's some that you can do that it looks like they're talking to somebody they could be funny little songs yeah. and you can just react to it you don't even have to say anything you can be silly if there's a song that resonates with you, just look at, just search for the song, mm. search for it. Yeah, you yeah. could search fitness and see what happens, or search, um, search anything that you you love. You could search unicorns and find what happens, and <laughs> you know, wear a unicorn on your t-shirt, and but there'll what be something. Unicorns. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they did. Oh. So underdressed. So underdressed. But yeah, there could be something like that to have some play with. But I think it would just be a really neat thing to try and see if there could be a collaboration in the in the hub and someone champion yeah. that and mm. put it together and maybe challenge, you know, because there, there was like that, the video that went around ages ago, a few years ago, there was a big viral thing where like policemen and like firemen all around yeah. the world were copying the same dance together they and doing it. There was all sorts of ones. Oh, yeah, there was yeah, heaps yeah. of them. Um, and yeah, so maybe that could be a thing is that the different mm. gyms around New Zealand do a little yeah. funny thing and kind yeah. of like just keep remixing each other or yeah. Yeah, that's a really good idea. It's almost like puff for puff type. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's everyone kind of promoting themselves as much as each other and it's promoting the industry. Mm-hmm. And building everyone up rather than competing. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, it's going to get competitive, though. Yeah, <laughs> my dance is fun, my dance, so there you go. I just look awkward like a flailing singer. Like I am, but we're, we're all a bit there. The right time to start sitting on that. Yeah, I don't know if I have anything else, I guess, on my mind about it to share, but it was just such an interesting, yeah. like a, almost like a social experiment to try this week. And then you can obviously, once you've finished one, you're probably going to get ideas about, oh, like now that I've done that, I'm going to, I'm going to try this. Mm. Also, by creating those reels and putting different hashtags and things, it's going to put more of that similar content in front of you, so you'll mm. get more inspiration along the same line. Yeah. Mm. You can try drawing your captions, can't you, on yes. Instagram? On TikTok, you already are like, like big characters, I think. Yeah, there's way more that you're allowed to do. Yeah. yeah, on Instagram, you can just put like a picture. Yeah. Mm. So I definitely saw a lot more paper page followers from that mm. afterwards. So it was quite a significant amount. I think we got like 10 to 15 more followers within that day. Wow. So quite a bit yeah. for a small mm. centre. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Thank you, Sandy. That's all right. And I don't have any updates. Do you have any updates? Oh, well, I'll just let you know that Fitex tickets are on sale. Yay! Yay! Yes. <laughs> um, so obviously the link will be shared on all the hubs. Um, but yeah, we're we're ready to go. Fabulous. And there's for the first time there's a one day ticket. So oh. so if people can only come on the Saturday to Sunday, um, obviously it's better if you come to all of it, <laughs> financially and information wise. Um, but there is a single day ticket to try and reserve it to make it easy for people to 
yeah. come along. Yeah, that's cool. And um, they just get 10 CPDs there? Yep. Yeah. So there's a yeah, difference in CPDs, but um, but that's there for people to understand, appreciate um, yeah. every time. But it's, uh, you know, it's going to be better and better. It's all going to be thriving every time. It's so exciting for us. So. Oh, and the RAPS registration now. Just opened. Yeah, it's, open. it's just yeah. opened okay. and um, yeah, get in before the first of October, and uh, and you you can imagine what's happening at the reps office at the moment. It's already starting to build up pace, so um, yeah, it's great that people are registering early, and they keep doing it until we're all done. So it's a great time. Busy and time the here. first round, well, the nominations oh, are the closed for the closed. awards. Yeah. yeah. So stage two is being prepped right now, so yeah. that'll be coming out really soon. Yep, and um, yeah, so it's all go, it's all happening. And we're very excited. But the biggest thing to get for the biggest discount on those early birds, and if you're reps registered or an ex striker dual member, is to get your tickets for the first. The schedule's yeah. live as well, is it? No, mm -hmm. there is an idea of the what each ticket includes. Oh, yeah. So there's information about a, a virtual ticket as well, yeah. um, which is significantly, it's just a, a matter of a couple of um, sessions that we know we're going to record as opposed to last year where we were recording right. everything. Right. So um, they're almost going there, less is more. So the ones that we are recording, we're recording at high, you know, the highest quality. Yeah. And so there's information of all the tickets, but at the moment the schedule is yet to be released. So, um, yeah. Cool. So letting that Did bubble. Talk yeah, letting that bubble. <laughs> Meeting with Abby on yeah. Wednesday. So. They're amazing. Yeah, yes, they are amazing. Yeah. yeah, they're yeah. all attending. Yeah. So. And, and delicious. And delicious. <laughs> <laughs> but there's yeah. a really exciting yeah. thing, hopefully, um, and I know for a fact that there's a real, a really great quality around nutrition. Um, which is, you know, mm. it's, it's awesome to see. Because obviously what happens is the people, the speakers that put themselves forward, their topics evolve and change throughout the year. And yeah. and maybe last year was a lot about um, rebuilding after COVID and stuff like that. So yeah. we've moved on from that. And it seems to be that nutrition has got a great focus this year. Which is right. awesome. yeah. Not on purpose, just it's coming to the table. Well, so, yeah, feeling. we're pulling forward. So, yeah, yeah. it's really great. Right? Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah, get your tickets. Get the dates on the diary and um, watch out for stage two and get your registrations in. Yes, and don't be someone didn't know about reps. Tag me, man. <laughs> or, yeah. It will get it will get to us. Feel free yeah. to ask questions. Absolutely, absolutely. Cool. I will close off the meeting. Thanks, Sarah. No, no worries. Thank you very much.